I'm a really big fan, just so you know. So you're not talking to some, you know, idiot that doesn't know anything about Family Guy right. or like anything about you, okay? All right, all right. I'll t I, I will. I, I believe you. You're okay. not an idiot. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? So when you're on dates, do you pull out the voices? Occasionally, if it's a productive thing to do. <laughs> there are bullies and there are nerds, and there are hot Asian chicks. They'll do what you want. And how? What would what would be conducive to a productive way to utilize the voice? Do Stewie? I'll give you a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, huh? God, I should take her out right here with these men. You know, when I'm in bed, I'm basically doing Brian anyway. Yeah, like she'd get paid for that. How does the writing room work when you guys are trying to come up with jokes and stuff? Basically, you, you make a joke in the writer's room. If everyone else in the room laughs, chances are, you know, the rest of the country will laugh. You can see for a joke of the Oh, in the kitchen, man. The show is very heavily based on gay humor, probably mostly because of Stewie, but you also fit it in anywhere you can. I wonder why you've taken that angle. Oh, uh, what are you saying? It's all part of the, the let's make fun of everybody kind of philosophy. Peter, you painted over the back window. Isn't that dangerous? I'm a redneck, Brian. We like people driving behind us to know what our beliefs are. We don't like to shock for the sake of shocking, and we don't like to be mean for the sake of being mean. It's got to be funny. If it's funny and shocking or funny and mean, then we'll take a whack at it.